Use the means of today to reach the people of today. The Church Speaks, an episode where the Holy Father, the Pope, and the Bishops of the Philippines speaks about their apostolic letters and exhortations to all Catholic Christians. Today, the Catholic Bishop Conference of the Philippines, or CBCP, choose this year as the Year of the Clergy and Religious Persons, as a part of the program in preparation for celebration of the 500 years of faith in the Philippines. Mga kaigsuunan, padayon kita sa paghisgot, sa pagpasabot, sa pagsaulog sa tuig sa mga pare o sa mga konsagradong kinab- um, kinabuhi. Diya sa sulat nga to sa Hebreyo 5.1, naghisgot may itungod ni Ini, na ang matagpangulong pare, gikuha diya sa katilingban, o gihimong representante at tubangan sa Diyos, busa, ang mga pare o mga religyoso, matuod nga ania sa kalibutan, apan wala sila sa kalibutan. Kinahanglan nga maamunggohan nila ang ilang kaugalingong bili sa pagkawalay gahom kung wala ang Diyos. Ang ilang pagkatawahan nun sa marang usab na sila labing dako o adunay dignidad. Ang tanan, tungod sa Diyos, sila adunay dignidad. Ilabi na dahil sa ilang mga kahuyang, diin ila usab na ikapakita ang labing makusganong gahom o presensya sa langit ng grasya. Ang nagalihok ng grasya sa Diyos sulod sa ilang pagkamahuyang o kakulangon mao ang labing kahulugan ng misteryo sa gahom sa Diyos. Balik kita sa sunod Domingo o sa sunod nga pag uh, pasabot na usab nato ni ning tuig sa mga pare o sa mga relihiyoso. This holy mass is brought to you in collaboration with Ricardo O. Santiago Sr., Stu and Nancy Santiago and family, APM Ad and Promo Management, Alex P. Montañez and family, Ernie and Mercy Evangelista, St. John Paul II College of Davao, Royal Bed House Incorporated, Tat and Gigi Coronel and family, Teresita Villa Abrilie, Tielino Trucking Services, Davao Durian Laundry Services Company, Mr. and Mrs. Protasio Takandong, Chardin, JDB Diversified Incorporated, Melvin E. Aviles, Porrita and Lorenzo and family, Attorney Ellie and Veronica Britannia and family, Quillan's Food House, PSST Bote Junk Shop, Brother Henry and Lolita Evangelista and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lucas Bidatoy and family, Dr. Carol John and Mary Grace Britannia and family, William and family, Jess and Amelia Deason, Gus and Sophie, Dolores R. Fanlo and family, Fel Yamido and family, Rafael and Lillian Heason and family, and Fred and Terry Halua and family. Offering of the Holy Mass Accept Most Holy Trinity This sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the Divine Word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. We pray for the intentions of our regular sponsors, choir members, donors, offers and volunteers of the Holy Mass, especially the sponsoring group. Maritime Community of Davao City, headed by Maritime Industry Authority, Region 11. Thanksgiving intentions of Dr. Carlos Tan and family, Maritime Industry Authority, Region 11. 
Regional Director, Regional Director Mary Ann Z. Ercilia, Estrella Family, Namsa Davao, Crossworld Marine Services Incorporated, Premier Diagnostics and Health Service Center Incorporated, DMMA Maritime Training and Assessment Center, Mats College of Technology, DMMA College of Southern Philippines, TSM Group of Companies, Chief Mate Joan Etcubanias, Captain Ramil Aboal and Family, Reina Shipping Services Incorporated, Brendan Kitts Zamora, Samuel Batokael, B. Louis Edward Halasan, Newsim Davao, Gilbert Kaloma, Judito Labud, Neil Jason Kim Singh, Maglana Buton Family, Leonardo Sarsaba Jr. and Family, Agro Industrial Foundation College of the Philippines, May West Company Incorporated, CW, CW Coley Incorporated, Matt's Training Center, Rodolfo Escasinas and Family, Monarca Family, Ingrid Lara, Davao Security Agency, Elizabeth Balan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Willie Sagun and Family, Chief Engineer and Mrs. Remy Banderado, Harold and Grace Aranas, Leonardo Bacong and Family, Alex and Bing Mikayabas, Willie and Lucille Kindoy, and Dove of Parts and Sales Corporation. Birthday intentions of Nelio de la Peña, safe travel of Namsa Davao, recovery and healing of Rodolfo Estera, Emil Season, Ernie Evangelista, Linda Torejos, Henry Evangelista. For the eternal repose of Milagros, Luciana, Jermin Chu, Elpidio, Adelaida, Erlinda, Claudio, Selma, Marutas, Julio, Oscar Olivenza, Isidro, Calixto Sr., Brenda, Pedro, Juana, April Ian Arau, Epifania, Leonardo, Virginia, Sandra, Elena Aboal, Jacqueline Wiley, Antonio, Susanita, Vicente, Nisetas, Felix Namalata, and all benefactors, sponsors, and cooperators of the Pauline's RTV mission. We pray for those who are sick, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord and Father God, without end and almighty, through your grace, you give us strength and help in our weakness. In your mercy, touch your sick people. Deliver them in their sickness and restore them good health, so that assured of your good, goodness and love, they will praise and thank you in your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good morning. The church celebrates the birthday of John the Baptist. Why is this important? It is because he prepares the way for the coming of the Savior to the world. His coming heralds or announces the fullness of God's revelation to men and women that Jesus is coming. John is the new Elijah come to call for repentance and reconciliation, to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of children to their fathers. John's call towards conversion is still relevant in our own time. June 25 is also the annual day of the Filipino seafarers. Its purpose is to recognize the unique contribution made by seafarers from all over the world to international seaborne trade, the world economy, and civil society as a whole. Their theme is seafarers' well-being. The presider of this holy mass is Father Cedric Alimbuyong, MSP, Philippine Mission Society Priest. The choir during this Mass is the Legion of Mary Choir, Rabao City. Let us joyfully celebrate the banquet of love. 
Please stand as we celebrate the Holy Mass. Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for pardon and strength. I confess, Almighty God, unto you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words in what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
let us pray. O God, who raised up St. John the Baptist to make ready a nation fit for Christ the Lord, give your people, we pray, the grace of spiritual joys and direct the hearts of all the faithful into the way of salvation and peace. For this is Christ, your Son, who is in the the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Isaiah narrates how, from his mother's womb, God has called him to be a prophet. He is being commissioned by God to be a light to the nations and not only for Israel. The first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O coastland. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me. Israel, the whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord. My recompense is with my God. From now the Lord has spoken who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the role of John the Baptist as herald to the Savior. John the Baptist knew his place in the scheme of God's plan and abided by it faithfully. The second reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Paul said, God raised up David as their king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you, who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs, asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and spoke, blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. 
The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the desert until the day of his manifestation to Israel. And this is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Today we celebrate the birthday of John the Baptist. And it is so good that we are celebrating the day for uh, maritime community. So good morning to all of you. Can you also extend your hands saying good morning to your brothers and sisters? Good morning to our cameraman. Actually, Sister Rekha told me this should be an English mass. Kaya nosbleed na ako ngayon. As we celebrate this Sunday, we have a lot of things to celebrate. One is the birthday of John the Baptist, and also Sunday Mass. At the same time, our uh, day for the seafarers sa Tagalog pa manlalayag. Let us say we have some uh, uh, mga nasa tarbaho sa saasa for the nagtarbaho sa barko, nagtarbaho sa siguro yung iba nasa ibang bansa. And we pray for our families who are working here and abroad because we all know that the life of seafarers is not so easy. When you are out in your country, you are away from your families for six months or a year. And when you come back, there is another, there is a time of uh, adjustment. That is why we have to pray for our maritime, for our people who are working in maritime industry. So this is the time for us to pray for them. Second is, we are also reminded of the birth of John the Baptist. The word John means God is gracious. Ang Panginoon ay maawain at mapagbigay. That is what we are celebrating the name John. Meron bang John dito sa grupo? Meron bang Juan? Wala. Because if, if you are named John, meaning to say, the, you are gracious because God was so gracious in giving a child to Sikaraya and Elizabeth. They are, they are advanced of age. Mga matatanda na po sila. But the Lord gave them a son and they named him John. Alam niyo ba yung sabihin kay uh, Sikaraya na he will have a son? Hindi siya niwala. That is why ang nangyari sa kanya, hindi siya makapagsalita. He was made mute for some time, until the day that he was to give the name of his son, John. Sumulat siya, and when he wrote the name John, nakapagsata siya ulit. And that is the miracle of the graces of God, that if you don't believe, hindi ka makapagsalita. Because they were promised long time ago that they will have a son. But when the time of fulfillment, Sikaray did not believe. That is why he was made mute for some time. Maybe to give him the discipline, some disciplinary action, so that he could feel and believe that there is God who is always gracious. And that is a challenge for all of us. That's why we have to value the gift of life. You know, sabi na, ano ba yung buhay natin? Because when I speak about the birth of John the Baptist, this is meant to say that there is the value of life that we have to treasure because this is a gift from God. Kahit kayo mga magulang, it is not your, di man talaga na anak nyo yan, it is a gift from God. You are just an instrument for this child to be born. That is why Sikaraya and Elizabeth were just mere instruments for John to be part of the salvation, the plan of salvation. 
because John, as he grew up, he becomes the precursor or he prepares the way of the Lord that Jesus Christ is coming and he was proclaiming the word, repent because the kingdom of God is at hand. So that is his mission. That is his mission that he has to proclaim the word of God, to proclaim the gospel that all people will repent and go back into the grace of God. That is why when we speak about John the Baptist, we have to remember the gift of life. And the second is how John the Baptist do his mission to fulfill the plan of salvation. Because after John has proclaimed that the, the civil is coming, then it also culminates Jesus coming into the picture that he was proclaiming the kingdom of God. So John the Baptist was an instrument to prepare the people that there is somebody coming and that is greater than him. And I would like to emphasize a good thing about John the Baptist, about this humility. He always accepts that he is not worthy to unfasten the sandal of Jesus. And that is the concrete experience of humility. So we have to be humble also in our lives. That is why when we look into our gospel today, it is a concrete example of how the Lord was trying to give Zechariah and Elizabeth a significant a fulfillment that they will become part of the salvific mission of the Lord. So in this Mass, let us pray that we become like John the Baptist. We have to prepare to bring people closer to the church, and that is so that we will become also the instrument of bringing the gospel to these people. That is why the mission of John is to proclaim the word of God. I would like to share that as a member of the MSP, I am also entrusted to bring the word of God, not only here in the country, but also abroad. And one thing that make us good about the seafarers are they are our partners in the mission. With our sign in South Korea, there are a lot of seafarers working in the shipyard. Every time there are ships coming into Incheon, uh, uh, they come for the mass. And that is why the seafarers are also missionaries in their own right. Because they witness the Filipino faith to all the countries where they are working. When they dock in a kind of country, they will be looking for a church. And they always animate people to believe that there is God and there is Jesus Christ. So they are accidentally become also our own missionaries. Thus, as we celebrate this Sunday of the seafarers, let us remember first our brothers working in this community, those work working abroad in the ship. And Sika, let us pray for their families. Why? Because of loneliness, homesickness, these are the things that we have to pray that they will persevere. Kasi mahirap sa isang pamilya na makakalayo ang asawa at ang, ang lalaki at babae at malayo sa kanyang mga anak. Kaya kung bakit, Meron tayong linggo for the seafarers because we have to remember their sacrifices. Let us remember their desire to be with the family, but they cannot be with them because they are working. So for them to be strong in their faith, for them to become instrument in proclaiming the gospel like St. John the Baptist, let us support one another. For those who are here, I hope that you have some community like this to support one another. Kumustahin niyo kung kumustahin niyo yung mga anak, yung family. Pag merong nangyayari, we have to support one another because we believe that that is our mission as a community. So I would like to believe that today as we celebrate the birthday of St. John the Baptist, we are also reminded first to value life. Second is we have to fulfill the mission of John in proclaiming the word of God and the gospel. And 
at the end, let us also be reminded that we have to repent. We have to ask forgiveness for our shortcomings because that is one way of going back to the Father. I hope and pray that in this Mass, we all have the feeling that the Lord is also giving us the opportunity to celebrate this Sunday, June 24, by also remembering our own baptism. We all know that St. John the Baptist baptized Jesus, and because of that, we become sons and daughters of God and become brothers and sisters of Christ. And that is what significant thing St. John Baptist have done in this mission. Let us pray that all of us, like John the Baptist, become faithful, become persevering in our mission, proclaim the word of God. Amen. Let us now all stand and let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of the heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, God substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. Birth, Spirit, the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come in, in glory to judge the living the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken from the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism and forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to the Father that like St. John the Baptist who was called from the first moment of his life to proclaim the Savior of the world, we too may be faithful in announcing God's graciousness to the whole world with confidence we pray, Lord be gracious to us. Lord be gracious to us. May the church with each clergy and servants proclaim the gospel with priceless joy and unwavering faith. We pray. Lord, be gracious to us. May government officials be aware of their intrinsic ties to the people they serve and avoid enacting laws which are detrimental to human life and dignity. We pray. Lord, be gracious to us. May religious men and women head the call to renew their vows, not only in ritual, but more importantly, in faithful witness to the one to whom they have consecrated their lives. We pray. Lord, be gracious to us. May the young people not only reject the culture of death, materialism, untruth, and instant gratification, but also discover the beauty of simplicity and spiritual things. We pray. Lord, be gracious to us. May the sick, the elderly, the handicapped, and those burdened with trials and difficulties be comforted with the hope and presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. We pray. Lord, be gracious to us. For the seafarers, that as they celebrate their special day, June 25, Seafarers Day, people may be aware of their working conditions and their well-being body and soul and resolve to care for them and realize their value in the nation's trade, economy, and society as a whole. We pray. Lord, be gracious to us. That our beloved dead may be reborn to the new life and rejoice forever. In the vision of your glory, especially the sponsors, benefactors, and cooperators of the Pauline's Media Mission, we pray. 
Lord, be gracious to us. We also pray in a special way our intention for those who are gathered in this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, as we celebrate the birth of John the Baptist, hero of your Son, may we heed his call towards conversion, and may our lives an instrument to praise and glorify you through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> my dear sisters and brothers the my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. We place these offerings on the altar of Lord to celebrate with fitting honor the nativity of him who both foretold the coming of the world Savior and pointed him out when he came who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and ever to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in this precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise your great glory for you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing even in the womb. He lived for joy at the coming of human salvation. He alone of all the prophets pointed out the Lamb of Redemption and to make holy the flowing waters. He baptized the very altar of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship your council on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy their precious prayer by service them like a jewel, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was Peter entering into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more he gave you thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is a chalice of my blood, the eternal covenant, which he poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thus healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How many prepare to you, body and blood of Christ, may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bringing to the fullness of charity. We did Francis, our Pope, Romulo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome into the light of your face. Have mercy of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostle all the saints, who have pleased throughout the ages in to be cursed eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O God is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Pass out. 
deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil, gracious, grant peace, you know, the state of mercy. We be always free from sin and safe from all distresses. We await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord, Jesus, I have said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And say, grant her peace, and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace with you. Behold the Lamb of God, but who takes away the sins of the world, blessed was called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my but only say the word in my soul shall be. Christ, bring us everlasting life. Let us pray. Having feasted at the banquet of the heavenly Lamb, we pray, O Lord, that finding joy in the nativity of St. John the Baptist, your church may know as the author of her rebirth, the Christ whose coming John foretold, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. I would like to thank each one of you for coming this, this morning for this Mass. And also, I'd like to ask you to pray and support the Mission Society of the Philippines on July 29. We're going to celebrate the Film Mission Sunday. Please support us with your prayers and your financial assistance. That is for our mission. 
Thank you very much, and I hope we continue to bless the Lord and thank Him because God is always gracious. If you wish to know the lives of the saints and the feast of Mama Mary, this is a very good book entitled, Talambuhay ng Mga Santo at Mga Kapistahan ng Mahal na Birhen. This is available at the Pauline's Media Center located at Bolton Street, Davao City for only 200 pesos. Thank you and have a nice day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, our Mass is offered. Thanks be to God.